this is like a baby weed that has sprouted in your consciousness and spirit is bringing it to your attention for you to uproot it. Because if you don't, this little like, you know, seedling is going to grow into a whole tree and it's going to be a lot harder to deconstruct. You want the best of my heart, you just Hello Capricorn, welcome to your end of July reading. I'm Princess Indy, if you're new, if you're family, welcome back, my friend, and what's not, or whatever. So anywho, we are going to be looking at you as well as a person of interest <clears throat> from the end of July going into August, and we're going to start with the energy between the two of you. So we're going to ask Spirit to give us clear and direct guidance for my Capricorns and whatnot or whatever. Anything they need to know, Spirit, anything of utmost importance, I ask that come to the forefront in this here reading. As always, I thank you in advance, Spirit. So anyway, let's see. You and a person of interest. And in the end, in the extended, I can't talk right now. Wow. We're going to be looking at you. Oh, Jesus. You and your person of interest and how they're thinking and feeling about you. Oh, my goodness. The victim card. Got a little victim mentality going on, Capricorn? Okay. <clears throat> Something that's extremely important to remember, Capricorn, in reference to your relationships is life is happening for you, not to you. You know what I'm saying? So we're talking about a victim mentality. This, of course, can be you or your person of interest, but we're talking about someone when things happen. It's just like, oh, life is just always, oh, it's always me. And it's all, this happened to me. Everybody lied to me. Everybody cheat on me. Things of the sort. You know what I'm saying? The whole important thing with this card is saying to you is to understand personal accountability. That <clears throat> when we find ourselves in situations, yes, there are people that take advantage of us. But we have to take personal accountability in the fact that we make the decisions to be with people who may have eventually taken advantage of us. Could you have known that beforehand? Could be, could not. You know what I'm saying? Did you pay attention to red flags? Did you pay attention to warning signs, right? The whole thing is talking about stepping out of a victim mentality and taking responsibility for your choices and your actions and how things are panning out. Because feeling sorry for yourself ain't going to get you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Feeling sad that, oh, my life is panned out like this, that's not going to get you anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's no award that's coming. There is no self-loathing award. Nobody's coming to rescue you saying, oh, poor Tink Tink. You know what I'm saying? People didn't take advantage of them. Oh, my goodness, I feel so bad for them. It doesn't work like that. But like I said, that's the energy between the two of y'all. So it could be you or your person of interest. So let's get into your individual cards. First card that falls out is the Page of Swords. Hmm. What is this? Oh, Lord. The Queen of Swords in reverse. All right. Capricorn. You have an idea about something in reference to your partnership. Your idea and your concept, and I feel like this is a forewarning. This is a seed that has been planted, and the seed is starting to grow. But where this seed is coming from or where it's germinating from is from past experiences and things that have left you embittered, things that have left you wounded, things that have left you hurt in your life, right? Past experiences and things of the sort, or it could be with a particular person. But the thing that's most important here is your thought space. So the thing is, is that there is an idea that's growing in your head of what it is that you think that's happening to you or is happening in your love life or in your relationship right now. The seed from which this is growing is this one. So it's a victim mentality, right? And what's fueling it is past experience. So I feel like the reason why this is coming up, and like I said, you know, energy is fluid, blah, blah, blah. This could be you or your person, but this is on your side. <clears throat> the reason why this is coming up is because spirit wants to bring your attention to this. Because I don't know how this partnership is going to pan out because we ain't got that deep into the cars yet. But the thing is, is that if you don't take a hold of this, if this is something that's working in your favor, this can end up tainting it. And if this is something that isn't so much working in your favor, then this would be a byproduct of that said union. This is interesting. Mm, two cards fell out. First card we, oh Lord, we have the lovers in reverse, Jesus Christ. And then the Seven of Cups. Okay, so here's the thing, B. All right. Look, Capricorn. So you need to make a choice. Now, if we're talking about a partnership that you guys are in, then I would say that this partnership has embittered you. So it's kind of like it's distorted your thoughts. 
in your perception on life, love, and relationships, whether you're with this person or not. So when you're making choices to either go forward with someone, and I kind of feel like this, this, okay, so this could go one or two ways. This may either be you guys wanting to leave someone or a new person that's coming into your life. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody y'all are on the fence about or just thinking about love in general. It's your past experiences and this new perception that's growing from this place of victim mentality. Because I feel like the person that you guys were with, um, some of you are with or the person you were with prior to this, like your last relationship. This person um, was very seven of swords, like a trickster. A lot of lying, a lot of sneaky, cheating, lying type of stuff. And I feel like it's hurt you so much it has distorted your concept on love. You know what I'm saying? So when we're talking about new partnerships, this is the place we're coming from. But the reason why this is coming up is because this is like a baby weed that has sprouted in your consciousness and spirit is bringing it to your attention for you to uproot it. Because if you don't, this little like, you know, seedling is going to grow into a whole tree and it's going to be a lot harder to deconstruct that. Have you ever seen somebody cut down a tree in their yard? It's like a step by step process. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to make sure this doesn't grow into a tree of bitterness. We trying to uproot the seedling in the root of bitterness, if you know what I'm saying. OK, now that's distorting in love when you're making choices or even when you're making choices in life in general. Because it's it's messing with your confidence. So the confusion is coming in the fact of I don't know how to move forward. And it doesn't necessarily have to be just with love. It could be in career, like a lack of confidence. Or if stuff goes wrong in your life, what spirit is bringing to your attention is how much this relationship has affected you on your self-concept level. And that's distorting your ability to make choices, whether that be in love or in your life, because it's a lot of self-doubt. You feel what I'm saying? So it's your emotions are clouding your judgment and your emotions are distorted based on how this person or your experiences have changed your thought patterns or your perception of yourself, life, love, what have you, right? So the whole key is, is getting out of this victim mentality. Jesus Christ. Okay. Person of interest. We got the six of cups in reverse. Who Lord have mercy. So this is not ideal person here. Oh, good Lord. We got the three of wands in the reverse. Ooh, Capricorn, I can see why y'all was waiting on this reading, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, have mercy in heaven. Drop the cards, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse, blocked. Then we have the Eight of Swords. Ooh, Lord. Okay, let me tell you something. And I talked about this in this little Twin Flame video that I'm about to post. In that video, I talked about how when we align with the wrong person, how they become like an infectious disease. You know what I'm saying? This person is in their head and they're fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They're going through their own stuff, their own issues, right? When you align with a person like this and they start bleeding their dysfunction into you, and I feel this is somebody you feel <clears throat> is a soulmate connection or something like that. And is having hope for the future and not understanding why things aren't progressing because this is the person you're supposed to be with and blah, 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 blah. And it's not fair. And and if this person is dealing with somebody else, it's like blaming the person that they're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, they're with this person. It's their fault. Like if she wasn't using the kids and da, 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 and all that other kind of foolishness. All of that is projection to not take personal responsibility for the situation that we're in. This person right here, they're trapped in their own head because they have their own issues. I'm not going to say that it's mental issues. It's possible. But it's like they have their own issues that keep them stuck in life. This person is not growing. There is a, a cease lack thereof of growth in this person's life, in their forward movement or, or progression, their anything. It's like I see this person as frozen and as stagnant. If they have been telling you that there's plans to move forward, they're not really moving forward. Because a person can't give to you what they aren't giving to themselves. They have elected to remain stuck in their own space. And it has a lot to do with their mindset and mentality and how they're looking at life. And their lack of desire to progress or move forward in their own life. So a person can't move forward with you and build with you if they can't do it for themselves. Because a person can't give you what they aren't already giving themselves. So if this person doesn't have the highest idea for themselves, they are not... Working towards or aspiring towards um, their highest vision for their life. 
they can't do that for you because they would have to do it for themselves first. And it's like a part of me feels like y'all are kind of waiting for this person to do something and they're not going to do anything for you because they ain't doing it for themselves. But I feel like the whole thing that's keeping you tied here in Capricorn, that's so funny. Y'all energy could have been influencing me while I was doing this video because this is a lot of stuff that I talked about in this Twin Flame video. Is like how being in these toxic kind of connections like this, it starts to affect your life and distort how you're thinking and feeling about yourself. You know what I'm saying? But it's because it's aligning with a person that isn't honoring themselves. And if a person isn't honoring themselves, they can't honor you either. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel the thing that's keeping you connected to this person. And even if y'all aren't, because I see with the eight of uh, wands in the reverse, this person, you could have them blocked or they could have you blocked. And you could have technically, physically moved past this person. But how I'm seeing this, because spirit is really putting a heavy weight on this queen of swords reversed and the page of swords. And what that's saying to me is this is a mindset. So even if you're not dealing with this person anymore, because, you know, this is Mercury retrograde. So exes are going to come up in the readings now. Right. So if this is a person that y'all aren't even communicating with anymore, it's the simple fact that they have bled their dysfunction on to you. So now you're trapped in a mental prison the same way that they've always been trapped in a mental prison. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's almost like them brainwashing you to accept their distortion is truth. So they've bleeded their defunction, their defunction. <laughs> they've bled their dysfunction onto you. And now you guys are harboring the seed within and you feel victimized and imprisoned by your own life, almost as if you're you're frozen and you can't move forward. But the whole thing is, is because there's an energetic tie, like an energetic cord still between you and this person. So even though you may not be in communication with them, their energy is still very much affecting your energy and your auric field. So it's like because your foundation of self has been upsettled. Ugh, I cannot talk because your foundation, your self foundation has been upset. Right. Meaning that inner self, I'm not standing on a strong, stern foundation within myself. That means I don't trust myself. I don't trust my judgment. I don't trust my ability to make choices because when we're dealing with People who are using like insidious forms of like psychological abuse and things of the sort. It's changing how you're thinking about things. And it makes you start to doubt yourself because everything that you thought was right at one point in time, this person was telling you is wrong. And you've had to alter yourself in order to fit with this person. So even with you guys leaving this person behind, a lot of their influence is still being carried with you. So even... Like I said, if you guys aren't dealing with this person anymore and this has nothing to do with love and everything to do with just your life in general, it could be wanting to apply for a job. But it's like you're doubting your ability to be able to apply for this job or if you're qualified for this job because your self concept is distorted. Because at one point in time, you felt confident and somehow you feel as if you don't trust your own judgment anymore. So it leave you it leaves you in a sense of being stuck. Right. It's like, I can't make a decision. I don't trust my judgment. And it's like, I'm seeing all of these options, but I, I don't know how to move forward. And all of that is because of the seed of thought, right? It's like, I don't believe y'all are the queen of swords in reverse saying that y'all are like the bitter ass woman and stuff like that. I think it's just the fact that you don't trust your judgment because you've been through a lot. It's like a lot of healing needs to happen because I feel like psychologically speaking, you guys have been wounded a great deal to where it has you in a space where you're in a victim mentality. And so the same with this person, because I feel like this person, they're a victim of their own life. But it's almost as if this has bled on to you. And it, it's this feeling of needing to be rescued. But spirit is re-empowering you guys in the sense of saying that you have the power, the strength and ability to re-empower yourself. It's just you have to step out from under this. Right. So it's a need to cut the energetic ties that you have with this person and being real with yourself in the sense of um, your truth, your truth prior to you connecting with this individual. So this feels heavily like an ex. Like I said, for some of you guys, this may be someone y'all are still dealing with, but I feel very heavily 
that this is somebody from your past that y'all may not even be dealing with anymore, but it's just, you're still dealing with the residual effects of this partnership. Now, when all these cards fell, I can't help but notice that these are all the cards that had fell face up too. And it's the Queen of Swords, the Page of Cups in reverse, the Temperance, and the Five of Cups. Right? So the storyline this is telling me, y'all know the Queen of Cups, that's my therapist card. So if it's that bad to where you feel that your self-concept is that damaged, then it's either you doing some healing work or you going to someone who can help you through. With the Page of Cups, I feel like if y'all were waiting for this person or hoping for this person come back to come back, I feel that's something you need to let go be. And what you really need to be focused on right now is getting to a place of balance with yourself. Because I feel there's a lot of emotions that have not been addressed. Like a lot of grief, a lot of loss, um, self-loathing and things of the sort, which are, none of these are bad things. It's just that there's unresolved grief. And I feel that it's hard for you to find your footing and to know where you stand or how to move forward because your ground has been affected so much by your past experience and there's a need for you to acknowledge and give voice to your emotional world so that you can find that balance grieve this and move forward now seeing the five of cups being y'all's last card i feel like there's an opportunity moving forward for you guys to have a healthy emotional connection with someone but the key is is that you have to go through your grieving and your healing process first before you're balanced enough to be able to handle a partnership with this. Because I feel like right now, now isn't necessarily the ideal time for you guys to connect with someone because you're still carrying your past like a backpack. It's like whatever upset you guys have had in life or in relationships, you're still carrying that with you. So it's like that grief is still very much inside of you. And that's what I'm seeing with the seed here and here right with the energy between the two of you and with this page of swords and how that is manifesting as the queen of swords in the reverse is the simple fact that the seed that you're carrying with you from your past it's manifesting in different facets of your life and different experiences and while this retrograde is still going on spirit is giving you the opportunity to heal that thus the reason why this is coming out in this reading for you guys to pay attention to that, to heal that, right? Because if you guys want to be in love, you guys want to have a healthy connection, this like past stuff, this has to be dealt with because this can't move forward with you anymore. Now, for those of you who were concerned about a person from your past or a person that you guys have been dealing with, like I said, with this person, when I have the six of cups in the reverse, if y'all thought this was some type of special kind of connection, when the six of cups in reverse comes up, I don't see it as that. And especially like the fact that both of these are on my table. It's like this isn't like a true, true type of connection type of deal. You know what I'm saying? With the three of wands in reverse with them, I don't see this moving forward. With the eight of swords and the eight of wands in the reverse and these being eights and those are my karmic numbers. That's letting me know that there's a halt being put to this. So this is a relationship that may have eclipsed out already or literally eclipsed out with the damn eclipse. You feel what I'm saying? And what this can give you, if you needed an incentive to move forward, like say if you were afraid to move forward, your incentive is the fact that this person is just as stuck as they've been since the day that you met them. And I feel like they're going to stay that way. But that's their choice. You know what I'm saying? Because like, again, this is the energy between the two of y'all. So this is something that's bleeding into both of you. And it's a victim mentality. So you have a choice to come out of this just like they do. But I'm seeing the energy is more potential for you guys to come out of it than for them. You know what I'm saying? So if you just need an incentive to move forward, it's like this person is still very much stuck and I don't see them moving forward. You feel what I'm saying? But that's what I got. So if y'all want to ask a yes or no question, <laughs> go ahead and throw these dice of resonance. You know what I'm saying? And in the extended, I'm going to, I'm not even going to look at, I mean, I guess I will because some of y'all, I'm going to look at how the person thinks and feels about you, but I'm looking at who's coming towards y'all because look, I don't think y'all want this to be coming towards you, but hey, that's just my opinion. Who am I? All right. We got Aries. We have Aquarius family. Yes. In a few months and moon so aries aquarius family yes in a few months and moon now we're gonna throw the dice they have no name 
We really got to name these, y'all. I'm playing around. Oh, Lord have mercy. Almost dropped it. All right, we got North Node. Is that Virgo? Oh, Lord. Where's that Capricorn? It's one of those that looks really bad. Hold on. I got cheat. Yep, that's Capricorn. I don't know why that Capricorn looks so ugly. Let me see. All right, so North Node and Capricorn, the number 11. So whenever North Nodes come up, I always read about those in the extended. So we'll look at what the North Node and Capricorn can teach you all in the extended. But what it says about the North Node is, you're now learning something new about your destiny where you're going, what you're developing that you will carry forward, your legacy, and what's not. Number 11, your arcanist to meditate on is the high priestess and justice. And the question is, where are you manifesting from? What I said. Where are you manifesting from? I'm just saying... So anyway, Capricorn, that has been your reading. I love your freaking face. I'm going to go over to the extended if you want to follow me over there. Cool beans. If not, I still love your freaking face.